Hi there, it's Karen here from Book Turquoise Treasures, back again to finish my bookmarks and to carry on doing some more ephemera for my sewing journal. So this is it's just carrying on straight from, from the last video. This is how far we got. So I'm now going to trim down the fabric around. Perhaps I should sew it first. Maybe that's the better way to do it. Sew it so it's all in position then trim it. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, let's give that a go. I happen to have my sewing machine at my side, ready to go. Here we are. Just make sure it's all in position. Okay, and I'm going to start, I think I'll start at the bottom, go up and around, around the whole thing from the outside, and then I need to go across all the joins. So I need to go just inside. So fingers crossed, I'm going to I think I'm going to do a zigzag. Oh, just get a bit more onto my mat. Oh, quick slurp of coffee, give me courage. Get everything out of the way so that it doesn't bash into things as I go around. Alright, let's give this a go. What I'm doing is I'm using the edge of the the ink to edge to and I'm using the side of the foot to follow try and follow that ink ink to edge so that I keep in a keep it in a straight line and inside the um, edge of the card so I think that should work okay. Turn it around. And last time. Okay. Right, just get the needle to go up before I release it. And there we have, if I do say so myself, fairly neatly sewn bookmark. And all I've got to do now, I think I'll I'll do the trimming and then I'll come back and do the Right, so there we are, all sewn around, quite pleased with how that's come out, looks okay, that's quite good. And the other side, looks alright, 
a little bit, bit uh, ooh, it's a bit tangled up on the back here, so I might have to do something about that, trim that off. But anyway, let's just trim trim the bits of excess fabric first. Put the take the guard off. Hang on, I'll put the this goes one. I'm not sure which way this goes. That's it. And that releases the the blade. Right. So I'll come in a little bit from the edge here, but it doesn't really matter. As long as I haven't gone over the edge. And then the edge of the card is there. So I need to try and cut just on the outside of that. So this could be could be interesting. As it's um, there's two layers of card, two la not two layers of card, two layers of fabric, and you've got to try and go straight. How straight have I gone? Okay. doing not too bad okay and that could do with straightening up a bit right oh, okay not perfect, of course, but that's the name of the game. This I don't have to do, woohoo, because I used some of the edge already there and it's fine on both sides, so I don't have to worry about that bit. That's one less thing I have to worry about. And, right, let's start. Keep it as straight as I can and try to give it a bit of welly so that it goes through the two layers. I don't know how successful that's been. Ooh. Partially. Okay. Oh, not too bad actually on this one. Didn't go too bad. Let's go across the bottom. Okay. I think I just need to try. <laughs> I'm going to try and just straighten this up a little bit. Okay, not too bad. Oh, am I going into the... Oh, I hope I'm not going into the car. Oh, I think I might be. Oh, gosh, trust me. Why couldn't I leave well alone? Okay. That'll do. Let's do a quick bigger... Quick ink. Yeah, I might have just gone into the card a little bit there, but... If you don't tell tell anybody I won't. Oh. So yeah, it may be slightly narrower at <laughs> one end than the other, but never mind. It's, it's not too bad. And I just need to try and get rid of some of all this mess here that I managed to make. Don't know what I, don't know what I did there. Okay, so I'm just going to sew across there and across there and across there and do the same on the other side. So we'll end up with sewing all the way down, but I don't think, well, I will see whether that's something I like the look of or not. The jury's still out on which bookmark I'm going to use. 
and I can probably use this in another journal if I, if I actually like it when it's finished okay let's just make sure I've got enough thread and okay let's do it she didn't actually trim it off and then she turned it around and came back again on the next one let's see if that works works okay right Let's see how that looks shall we trim off the bits off the bits as well. Just have threads everywhere. Okay. Oh, I haven't finished. Side for a moment. All right, so now we've got we've got it sewn across there and there and there. So they're all cooled down. All the edges are cooled down, which is quite nice. Um, and now need to do the other ones. Let's go. To the other side. So I'm going to start here, do this little one at the bottom. <coughs> oh, me. Quick slurp. First time I've done two videos in one in one session, so we'll be getting a bit dry. Okay, and then the next the next next one the next join joined up bit. Okay. the needles up otherwise it uh, won't pull out very well okay and where's the next one this end the last one That's the last join Okay. 
Nah, what's going on here? Let's just cut it. Something's got caught. Hopefully it's still worked. Let's see what we've got. Alright. Trim this off. Right, mm, a bit more. Got that. It's got a, quite a lot of sewing all over it. So I'm not sure. Um, I think because this tapers down here, I'm going to actually, I think, turn it up the other way because it looks better if it's wider at the bottom than at the top. I think. Not quite sure how that happened, but that's obviously to do with my slightly wonky cutting. So now this. Looks a bit upside down, but do know when I do want that at the top. So maybe, yeah, maybe I can put something across there to kind of even it out a bit. Anyway, I think I think that's as far as I want to take it for now. Um, I'll just bring in the other one, which still has got a little bit of work to do on the back and I will come back and I'll have a think about how I'm going to finish this off and what I'm going to do with this I will come back um, I actually have been uh, crafting in the morning which is never happens normally so it's now lunchtime and I'm getting a bit hungry normally I craft in the afternoon but because the the nights are drawing in, I'm finding by the time I get around to doing it and sitting down to it, the light's beginning to go. So I thought it might be quite nice just for a change to, to start a bit earlier when I've still got lots of natural light and haven't got to rely on the um, on the lamps and things to, to give me the light. So I think I'll just break it off for, for the moment. Go and have some lunch, have a think about the back of these or what, what, what I'm, whether I'm going to do anything more with this and what I'm going to put on the back of here. Then I'll come back and finish the video and we'll move on to the other things that I had in mind to do as well. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. I'm duly fortified. Um, had a nice lunch and done a few few jobs, hung up my laundry, done all those boring things you have to do when you'd really rather be crafting. And I've had to think about what I want to do with these bookmarks, so I'm, I'm going to do that. I just thought you might, this might make you smile. Um, in the interim, I have now labelled my tin <laughs> with my handy dandy oh, label maker. My brother made I label everything with this baby. It's, it's fantastic. Um, all my boxes and everything where I keep stuff, I love a good label. So um, I thought, I, although I know what's in there because I can see... Because I always have trouble remembering what they're called, I've done a label. So that's that. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to come back to this one first. And I think I wanted to put something across the bottom here. So I've got this bit of lace out. And I think I'm just going to use a bit of this, this one here. I haven't got much left of this one. Um, and I'm just going to... Put a little piece across here. I think that just finishes it off nicely. Just tidy that piece up there. Be helpful if I were to cut it straight. There we go. And and because I, I'm never very keen on just a, a rough edge like that, I think it's okay at the top because I've got all this 
to distract the eye from that so I just wanted to just cover that edge as well and then I think we can call that side done okay so here we go with the good old fabri -Tac. it has to be fabri with this stuff because it's quite thick just blowing out the air and hopefully yep there we go here comes the glue I wish I knew how people got those lovely the, the fine bead that you're supposed to be able to get out of this bottle because it's not working for me but I think that's probably more me than the bottle because I need both hands to get it to come out screech screech okay I'm sure I make this look much more difficult than it really is the way it is. Get there in the end. Okay, that'll do. Whoops. Okay. I'm just going to pop that across there. And that looks nice. I like the finish of that. Okay. Now on this side, I was thinking what do I like, what would I like to use here and I think I picked out um, one of Roxy Creations digital kits which I have used bits of but not very much it's called the pink and green kit and I found this piece and I just thought this bit here the colours in this pick out the edge of that lace really really nicely so I think that's what I'm going to go with to start with is just that bit which will just then cover up this join and make this side look a little bit more decorative so I'm just going to I'll do it that side I think just going to tear it tear it down to there and the same again on the other side. Get that lined up nicely. I'll try and get it straight. I hope it's straight. And then just piece at the bottom okay right so that's quite nice I like that and I think it I think it just picks up the color of this lace really nicely I just need to trim off that little jackety bit by the looks of it it's distracting me So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm just wondering, no, I'm going to put some lacy bits either side. So I'm just going to edge, do a little bit of inking on that. afternoon now so the the light will start to go fairly soon I think it was a beautiful bright morning which is what encouraged me to come up here and make a start a bit earlier than usual but it's beginning to change now it's looking much more cloudy and grey so hopefully I'll get this done before before the light really really starts to go 
Okay, I'm going to put that there. Make sure it's nice and ink, um, gluey right to the edge because I won't be sewing around this or anything so I need to make sure it's well, well stuck down. Is that the right way up? No, I'm not sure it is. No. That's the right way up. Put it down a little. A bit more central, please. That's better. Card. Okay. So, of course, this is now calling out for a bit of something top and bottom, just to cover all the joins and make it look a bit more cohesive. So let's have a look, see what we've got that I can put on this. I wonder if this would work. There's a bit of green in the leaves and there's a bit of, and it goes quite reasonably well with that. It's the closest I've got to the turquoise in the beads anyway. I wonder. Put that there. Quite a, quite a deep piece of lace. I'm not sure I need it to be as deep as this. Let's have a look. Uh, try that piece there. I could, I could do the same at the other end. Or maybe it looks better at that end. Maybe something else at the top. Something a bit lighter at the top maybe. A little bit heavy, colour-wise. Hmm, quite like that at the bottom there. And it just covers up all this join and everything without adding too much bulk. So I could put that there. <clears throat> and what about at the top? What can I put at the top? I've got... got this little piece. And it's just copying that. I don't really want to do the same. It's too matchy matchy. Um, or could I do a bit of fabric? That kind of, that's quite a nice. It's not straight, of course. Straighten that up a bit. In an ideal world I'd be using pinking shears but I don't have any and when I did have any I couldn't I could make them work anyway. So I could put that there and maybe just a little bit of little narrow lace a little piece of something 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 um there's that Oh, I'm still not at this piece because then it picks up the green at the bottom. And it's got that jaggedy edge, which is quite nice. Oh, I think I might prefer that. Oh, I'm wondering whether this would look quite nice underneath the lace. No, probably not. I'm just trying things out. Cover that edge. Right, let's see. I don't think that'll work, but you never know. No. Worth a try. I think that when that's stuck down, that'll look fine. Um, I like that there. I might put a little... Oh, I know what I'll do. I will put... I've got a little bit of this very thin... 
if I can find it. Oh, it's all beginning to, it's like confetti around here, all falling on the floor. Is that it? Yeah. There's a little narrow edgy bit. Could just put between those to provide, yes, that's what I'm going to do. Enough faffing. I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac across here. here all right lay that down maybe it won't build up too much and then I'll put that there so I quite like that that gives it that nice little bit of edge and then across the join I do like to hide a join Get a thin line of this glue. Right. Nope, lay it down in case I need it again. And then I put this here. That funny bit of stuff that I got in the bag in the mixed bag of stuff in, in the um mixed bag of lace in the antique shop and I and there was loads of it and I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but I've actually used it quite a lot because it's just handy to have a little bit of a decorative, decorative edge. And you don't want a lot. You just want something to define the edging. So that's quite nice. I'll just leave that to dry. I'll come back and trim it in a minute. And I think for the lace I'm going to use the art glitter glue. Across here, down here, and it'll cover up all this untidiness, hopefully, or at least most of it. Maybe put a little bit across there. Okay. okay I think in my in my humble opinion I think that looks all right and then then you've got you've got your dangles that uh, can go either way and then the, the bookmark can go either way really I think yeah so let's just trim off these bits and have a look at finishing up the uh, the other bookmark the fabric one Right, so we have that side and we have that side and I think it looks really pretty. I don't know whether I, I might put something in the middle there. It'd be quite nice to have a little, maybe a button would be quite nice there. Um, let's have a look, see if I've got any buttons that would just work. It's my button box and we know it's my button box because it says buttons on it. There's another label. I told you everything was labelled. Alright, let's see what we've got in my button box. I've got loads of really brightly coloured buttons because I bought them when I was still scrapbooking and I thought I'd use them and I never really did. But there's a few quite delicate ones in this little bag. 
when I find a one that's more suitable for what, what we're doing with this, I try and put it aside. I like this one, it's got a little, it's like a little flower shape and that might look just cute there. Maybe just under the just under the lace, so it's not too doesn't stick out so much. Question is, do I want to put some thread through it? <laughs> and I may well do. Um, so that might be something I'll have to do off camera, otherwise we'll be here all day. So I am going to put a little bit of thread through that and stick that on and then that will be this one finished, but I'm not going to do it this minute. So that's that one. That was a fairly quick decision for me. Um, put that over here for a minute. And then I've got my other my other bookmark. Bring that back in. Get rid of all these gubbins. Okay, so this is one side and I'm, I was thinking about some sort of topper so I could use that or I could use this maybe I'll use this because there's a bit of there's a sort of very pale minty greeny colour and maybe because it's wide enough I could fold that over and it would work on both sides let's see how it looks on the other side oh yeah that would work quite nicely Okay, let's not agonise over it. Let's just do it. Or oh, I better cut. I don't want it to go across the whole piece. I don't think that. I think that looks a bit odd. So I'm going to just. Whoops. Cut it about here. And then I'll just. Okay. Glue along here. And try and get that to stick on there. Okay. And then turn it over and do the other side. Right. nice little topper for that one and the other thing I thought I'd do because I've got it left over here I don't know what I did I picked out a piece of lace that I thought might work maybe I, maybe I didn't or maybe it's this piece um, I was thinking that because this is narrowed here a bit I might try and fool the eye a little bit and use a piece of lace to widen it a bit but I don't know where it went where is it gone? usually, usually where it ends up will be on the floor no it's not on the floor and it's not in my little box I suppose this possibly might work um, that's a possibility it wasn't the one I planned to put there hmm it's not that one what did I do with it? I still think it could be could be on the floor. Maybe it got gathered up. Oh there it is, it is on the floor. I see it now. Okay. So my idea was 
because it's the same colour, I put it on there and just it just might make it look as though it's as wide as as wide as the other piece. Now I could actually because it's not completely the same width, I could put something across here as well. I think that's what I might do. Because I like a bit of lace anyway. Just makes it look pretty. So I had that there and something something across the join there. So what have I got here? A piece of this might do. So that would look alright, wouldn't it? And then that would perhaps make it look a little wider at the bottom. And it'd also be a nice decoration, nice bit of decoration as well. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to have to use the fabric tech, I think. Ugh. Just take off the creepy bits. It's covering up the sewing, but that's not necessarily a bad thing in my case. And you see, pl there's plenty of sewing on display, but it also gives it has the added benefit that it's it seals it. Okay, that's probably enough glue. Okay, there we are. Oop. Yeah. Turn the fabric. It does come through, but it it'll disappear when it dries. That's all right. And then this little piece. Just cover up this join. I'd like to tidy it up a bit. I think. So I need to give it another wipe. There we go. Takes so long to get it out sometimes. Right. Hang on. Okay. Right. Put a little bit across there. And I think, whoops, I think that's quite quite sweet. I'm wondering whether to put a little, well, I've got a little flower or something I can put at the top. It's all my little trims that are sort of flowery, flowery shapes. Um, I've got this one, which is cream. Anything else? I have no blue. And it'll probably be the wrong blue anyway. So I've got got this. Let's see. Just cut one off. Trim up the little little sticky outy bits. Hold that look there. It's 
especially if I could find a little pearl in the pale pale blue. Mm -hmm. I'll see what I've got. I think I might have something in that colour. Oh, boxes of stuff all over the place. Right. Um, I've got a collection of little packets of this sort of pearls and crystals and things. So that one is a bit, might be a bit big. Well, I've got that one. Let's try and. Where's my little tweezers? Got a bit buried, I think. We're here somewhere. Um, da -dum -dum. Here we are. I think this might be the one. Yeah. Okay. A little dollop of Fabri-Tec on here, I think, will be easier. There. Okay. And a little bit on the back. I don't know which is the right size. I don't think it matters. I think they're all the right, all pretty much the same on both sides with these things. A little bit of a little bit of glue, just dob it around. Okay, that'll do. And we'll put the little a little flower at the top there. Okay, so that's that side done. And that looks quite pretty. I never did check the length. I think I did more or less do it the same length as this one. I hope it's about right. Yeah, they're about the same. The thing is with the bookmark, you know, you want it to stick out of the top and the bottom, don't you? Or at least top of the top. Not necessarily both ends, but one end. You want the top to stick out a bit, so it's always nice to have a bit of decoration. Right, on the, so on this side, um, I think, uh, let's see, not sure really what I want to do on this side. We've got that side, so are we going to use a bit of this again? Okay, so I had to do a quick battery change, so this is a, that third part of this video. Um, but I did take the opportunity to go and grab a few things that I might use to decorate this, um, the back of this uh, bookmark with. So I think I want to put this piece of lace here. So I just think it will just... I don't want to completely, although I do want to cover up that dodgy bit there, so maybe I'll just bring it down a little bit. So it almost completely covers up this, but it doesn't matter. You can still see the colour through a little bit. So I think I'll put that on there. And then that hides my dodgy sewing. And that's no bad thing. Here we go again. Uh, have we got a... Gummed up a piece. It's a bit gummed up, I think. There we go. Here it comes. How wide is it? It's up to about there. Is 
does have the uh, the benefit of sealing off some of this sewing so it doesn't come unraveled. All right. So oh, lay that down. I think I don't know if that helps, but it may do a little. Right. So maybe I just put that there. Okay. Doop, 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 doop. Right, and then at the top, I'm trying to think of something that I could put at the top. So I've sort of raided my flower stash, so I've got a, a selection of bits and pieces to, to try out. So I had a few little, these are little, um, they're like, I suppose they're paper, paper flowers, I've already got beads on them. So there's that one, but it's a bit pale, I think. That one might be a bit better. Um, I've also got in here, God, I've had these a long time, these butterflies. I thought this blue one might go just for something different. Let's pull this out a bit. Get stuck. Oop. Okay. Because the, the fabric has got a lot of blue in it, and I thought maybe that would look quite nice. Get that around the right way. Something like that might look quite, yeah, might look good. I've also got this pack of Prima flowers, which I don't think I've even ever dipped into, I'm not sure. I'll have a look at, oh, see if there's anything in here that would go. at that butterfly because it's the one piece that's got stuck at the top. Just pull that down a bit. Let's try out this butterfly. No, it goes that way. Try that one. Hmm, no, no. Well, there's a couple of potential flowers. Mm -hmm. I think the other one's too big so quite like that I think it's a bit too bulky I think I think my favourite option is that butterfly I think that might be quite nice and just make be something different so I think I think that's the winner I'm wondering whether to put the flower at the bottom might do. That one. That one. No. That one. Maybe. Okay, let's put this on. I might leave it at that. I don't know what this is made of. It's a sort of soft... I think it's some sort of paper. Okay. Fabritex coming out nicely now. Finally. Alright. Okay. Let's put that there. Stick it, make sure it's all caught down. Might be a little more trimming that needs to be done on these some of these bits, but not to worry. And just put that in there now. Can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Right, so I think that's I think that's it. I might just trim off this piece of 
lace is sticking out a bit too much at the side here. And again on the other side a little bit. So we have that, and we have that, and we have this one, and this side. And this is going to have its little little button when I put the bit of, of um, thread through it, tie it into a little knot or a little bow, and I'll pop that there, which I think will finish that off nicely. So what we have to decide which one's going to go best in my journal? So, I think in my heart of hearts, I think I know which one I will want to use. But, I think we should try it out anyway. I haven't gone to the trouble of making the two. And it seemed appropriate to at least try making a fabric one, given it's a journal all about sewing. So the idea is that I'm going to pop it in here. I'm wondering whether to do some sort of belly band here. I was going to do a pocket, but I'm thinking possibly a belly band, maybe a half belly band, that we can just pop the um, bookmark through. And you see it just fits nicely there. And the colours go quite well with the colours on the first page. Whichever side I have showing, you've got that bit of pink, it's like a peachy pink really. Got that on both sides of the bookmark so either side would look nice I think in this position. And then I've got this one which is also about the right, just popping up from the top and the bottom and the same thing applies, it could just be popped into a belly band. I think if I was going to use, I think I'm going to use this because I just I just love this one to be honest. I think it goes really well with the journal um, and in my heart of hearts I think I'm a paper girl. I love a bit of fabric and I like sticking bits on and, and doing the fabric-y things but I am a paper girl when it all comes, when, when it's all said and done I work more comfortably with paper and I just think this works so well with the journal. I just think it, I think because it partly because it was the one I originally planned to go in this journal um, and I just thought I'd give this a try, but and I think this I, I like this one. And I might find I need to do a bit more lace on the joins just to make it look a little bit more decorative, cover up some of the messy stuff. I don't know. It's okay, but it's not it's not really what I wanted for this journal, I don't think, even though it's fabric. And I could end up, I could use it as a belly band at some later stage. It's a bit long obviously, but I suppose if I trimmed it off here, I could almost use it as a belly band. That could still happen. But it would be a bit of a shame to have, <laughs> have only one side showing. Or I could use it as a flip, fabric flip, maybe. Who knows? There may still be a use for this, but I think I think I'm going to use this one. And I've just got to figure out how I'm going to fit it into the... So I'd like it to have a place to, to kind of to sit. So if I was to put, a, put it right there, so you can still see the, the label saying dressmaker. Have a little belly band going across here. I think. And... I think that's the only way it would work. So it would just fit into there. So that's, I've got to think about that one. But I think in the meantime, I'll call that done. I'm sorry it's taken so long to go through. In fact, this is two, two videos. It's a bit a bit mad that it's taken this long. But um, it is what it is. You can always skip through the video if you want to just see where it gets to at the end. So there we are. There's my two bookmarks that take, took me far too long to make, really. But I'm quite pleased how they turned out. So thank you for joining me. I'm not going to move on to do anything else today. I just don't have the time. Um, I will do my pockets and collaging and stuff in the next video, which will follow fairly soon. Bye for now.